Hello students, welcome back to NAP BSc channel. So last video only, solvent extraction and introduction concept. Was the, what is extraction? Solvent extraction and the, you know, what is the basic procedure we follow in solvent extraction? What is the apparatus we use in this video? This video only, now the basic principle. So that is Nernst distribution law. Nernst distribution law, distribution coefficient. What are the factors affecting the distribution coefficient? So let's start. What is Nernst distribution law? Or state Nernst distribution law? And the two marks can you get both. So, you can get what is Nernst distribution law? Andre. So, you need to write the statement. When a solute is dissolved in a mixture of two immiscible solvents, the solute distributes itself between the two immiscible solvents in such a way that the ratio of concentration of solute in the two layers is a constant at constant temperature and it is irrespective of amount of solute or any other molecular species which is present. That means, so you have the solute, na, you have immiscible solvents na mixture in the dissolve mixture. A solute in the immiscible solvent ali on the particular ratio ali distribute. Agatte. Okay, now our ratio it is a constant at constant temperature. Our ratio is the temperature is constant. Agirathe. It is irrespective of amount of solute. Yes, the solute is the ratio ali adu distribute. Agatte. Or any other molecular species which is present. It may be solvent or any other ions. It is irrespective. Agirathe. So, this statement is called Nernst distribution law. So, you have second summary. The same statement is given here when a solute is dissolved in a mixture of two immiscible solvents. The solute distributes itself in the two immiscible solvents in such a way that the concentration of solute in both the layers is a constant at constant temperature irrespective of amount of solute or any other molecular species which is present. So, the constant as I said so, the concentration of solute in the two layers is a constant. That constant is called distribution or partition coefficient and it is denoted by Kd. Okay. I think you have understood Nernst distribution law. Next, what is distribution coefficient or simply we denote it as Kd. So, this Distribution coefficient na describe maadbe kaadre. We use two terms. Uh, one commonly distribution coefficient anta nu karitivi. Other one partition coefficient anta nu karitivi. In detail, we will discuss in the next video. So, just one introduction. What is distribution coefficient anta nu ee video li tan heil tini. Distribution coefficient is the ratio of concentration of solute in the organic phase over the concentration of solute in the aqueous phase. That means it is the ratio. So, uh, concentration of solute in the organic phase divided by concentration of solute in the aqueous phase is equal to distribution coefficient. It is the simple definition. So, the solvent extraction is an equilibrium process. Solute is dissolved in both the phases, right? So, it is an equilibration process. So, where solute is dissolved in the aqueous phase and it is allowed to distribute in the both the phases, right? Aqueous phase alu irate, matha organic phase alu irate. Slowly one phase in the inner phase ge mu agate. Right? The distribution coefficient represents the equilibrium constant for the process. So, even though um, coefficient in the distribution coefficient too, it is it can act as equilibrium constant. Even the process ali, equilibration process ali, equilibrium constant agi kuda act madate. As I said, distribution coefficient equal to concentration of solute in solvent 1 divided by concentration of solute in solvent 2, where solvent 1 and 2 are immiscible, immiscible liquids. Solvent 2 is aqueous layer and solvent 1 is organic layer. That means the uh, equation can be written as concentration of solute in organic layer divided by concentration of solute in aqueous layer. So, when you cap the separatory funnel and shake the two immiscible solvent, the compound will distribute itself. Yerudu compound in the yerudu phases only distribute agate, dissolve agate. Normally, the solvents used are water and organic solvent. Nimandu syllabus alitiranthadu, water and organic solvent 
with respect to water and organic solvent. So, what are the conditions? Nernst distribution law, okay? Yama conditions beko, correct again, Nernst distribution law follow up beko andre. Nernst distribution law holds good under the following conditions. What are the conditions? First, constant temperature. So, temperature change hai to andre, increase hai to andre, suppose. Increase other again agate, solubility just yag budate, solubility just the other again agate, one phase so distribution coefficient to change agate. Okay na, mate, solute to bare molecules of solute jote associate agbardo, at what dissociate agbardo, breakdown no agbardo. Okay na, so bare molecules of solute jote combine agbardo, at what iro molecule dissociate agbardo. Same formally erudo solventally irbek agate. Okay, na? Solute should not react with either solvent. React tag bardu. Okay, na? Complete ag react tag bear in a product to form mad bardu. The concentration of solute should be low. So, low concentration alinam ghe, you know, Nernst distribution law holds good. So, summarize mad adre. Constant temperature irbeku. Solute to associate atwa dissociate tag bardu. So, adu react tag bardu. Solvent jotege. Matte, fourth point to. Concentration come here. So, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel.